Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start by selecting everything and then going to insert and inserting a 2D clustered bar chart. Then I will change the size of this chart and I'll double click on one of these series to open up the formatting pane. I'll change the series overlap to be 100% and then change the gap width to be 15%. Then I will move this series so it is on the secondary axis. Then I'm going to also add in a secondary vertical axis. Then I'll select the secondary horizontal axis and change the minimum to be minus 4.5 E8 and the E is for the number of zeros, so in this case I'll have eight zeros and enter. Then I'll change the maximum back to four E8 and I'll change the major units to be five E7 and enter. Then for the vertical axis crosses, I'll change this to axis value and make it zero. Then I will tick the box for values in reverse order. Then I need to select the primary horizontal axes at the bottom and change the minimum to be minus 4.5 E8 and enter and change the maximum to be 4 E8. Then I'll change the major units to 5 E7 and then I will format these numbers. So I want this to be formatted as millions, so I'll do zero, comma, comma, and then M in quotation marks and add. And that makes it so the numbers are formatted in millions. Then I'll add in square brackets at the beginning and say greater than or equal to zero and add. Then I'll delete the word general that has appeared, but I'll leave in the semicolon and add. And that removes all of the numbers that are less than zero. I'm going to copy this code and select the secondary horizontal axes and paste the code in here as well and add this. Then I need to select the secondary vertical axes and go to axes options and horizontal axes crosses and change this to at category number and change it to two. Then I need to select the primary vertical axes and I also need to change this to at category number and two. Now you can see the two horizontal axes are lined up with each other on the bottom but they are overlapping with the lower bar. In order to fix this, I'm going to move the headings up. Then I'll select each of these series and drag the ranges upwards so they are covering one empty cell at the top. And this will shift the bars upwards. So now you can see the bars are no longer overlapping with the axes. With regards to the axes, the minimum and maximum bounds need to be the same for both the primary horizontal axes and the secondary horizontal axes. And also for the gap in the middle, this needs to be the same size as the axis interval. So this number here, it either needs to be the same number or a multiple of this number. You need the minimum and the maximum to be about the same number, but you need the maximum to be positive and the minimum to be negative, so you can force zero to be in about the middle of the chart. If the minimum and maximum were the exact same number, then you wouldn't have a gap in the middle. And if you assume that the minimum and the maximum are both positive numbers, then the difference between these numbers will be the size of the gap. Then I'm going to go to the secondary vertical axes again and I am going to remove the labels. Then I'll select the primary vertical axes and change the distance from 
axes for the labels to be 10. 10 is the smallest number you can have. Then I will make this chart slightly bigger. And you want to get your labels to be in the middle of the gap. And you can change this by changing the distance from the axes and changing the size of the chart and changing the font size. But you just need to mess around with this until it looks reasonable. Then you'll notice that these two values at the bottom are not in the center. So I'm going to fix this by adding in a couple of spaces into the cells. And you'll see that shifts them into the middle here. Most of the rest of this is just formatting. So I'll select the secondary vertical axis here and I'll change it to no line. I'll select the primary vertical axis and change that to no line. Then for the horizontal axis, I will give this a solid black line and make it a bit thinner. And I'll also add in some tick marks on the outside. Then I'll change the color of the series. So I'll give this a black border and make it thinner. And I'll change the fill, and this is female, so I'll make that purple. Then for male, I'll also give this a black border, and I'll change the fill to be green. Then I will add in some data labels. The number formatting here needs to be changed, so I'll just change that in the table. And we'll open up the formatting box and go to custom. And I want 0.0, .0 comma, comma, and then M in quotation marks and OK. Then let's change the color of these data labels. So I will change the text fill to be purple and we'll make this bold. And I'll change these data labels so they are green, and I'll also make that bold. I also want to change the color of the chart border, so I will change that to be black and make it thinner. Then at the moment, the legend at the bottom is flipped the wrong way around, so I'm just going to delete that and I'll add in a chart title. We'll call this world population 2025 then i'll do alt enter to get onto a new line i'll type male then a bunch of spaces and then female and enter and we will make this black and bold and make it bigger then i'll select just the top line and make that even bigger and then select the word male and I'll change this so that it is green and select just the word female and change this so it is purple. Then I'll add in a couple more spaces and move the chart title to try and get the male and female labels to line up with the bars underneath. The final thing I'm going to do is go to insert and I'm going to insert a shape and I'll click and drag to line this shape up with the axes and change it to no fill. Then I'll hold down control and drag this across to make a copy and line this up with the axes on the other side. And this is how we double check to make sure that we have sorted out the axes correctly so both sides of the pyramid are comparable. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a population pyramid in Excel, and that is everything.